different forms of hyphenated anarchy. Oh boy, I love these. Don't you love these? Aren't they great? You know, the, uh, the anarcho-capitalist versus the anarcho-communist, you know, versus the anarcho-syndicalists versus the, um, you know, uh, green anarchists or whatever they're calling them, uh, the anarcho-primitivists, you know, versus the anarcho-feminists versus the anarcho-atheists versus, uh, versus, versus, versus. That's all you need to know about that, you know. Again, conflict, being pitted against one another, you know, hyphenating a term that needs no prefix or suffix. Anarchy just means no rulers, okay? And you can only get to that level of consciousness when you understand rights and their objective aspect, that they exist in nature that we cannot change right and wrong, that we have to learn what right and wrong are and then align our behavior to those dynamics which exist in nature, in the natural world. And we have to understand natural law principles, and we have to understand natural law expressions, and we have to understand natural law consequences. We have to understand the law of freedom. As aggregate morality increases, aggregate freedom increases. As aggregate morality declines, aggregate freedom declines. Okay? So freedom and morality are directly proportional to each other. And most people in the anarchy community don't understand that. And they want to fight about that. They want to say, no, that's not legitimate. There is no such thing as natural law because they're stuck in an atheist paradigm, which is another political, uh, it's another, sorry, Hegelian polarization dialectic between scientism and atheism. There's no such thing as different variants or flavors of anarchy. There's only one anarchy, and that's spiritual anarchy under natural law. It's the only thing, that's, that's all real anarchy ever has been and ever will be. There is no other form of anarchy. That's the only way you get to anarchy. That's the only way anarchy is ever maintained throughout the whole cosmos, anywhere. Okay? You will never get to that state and or maintain that state anywhere in the cosmos without a spiritual understanding of true spirituality and natural law. Forget it. Anarchy is about high-level consciousness, awareness of self, okay? And it's about a high-level understanding of natural law and how it functions in our lives and how we can align our behavior to objective morality so that we can align it to natural law. That's it. There is no other form of anarchy. Never has existed and never will. All the hyphenated forms of anarchy, you can throw them in the garbage bin. So bickering over them and infighting over them is all pure nonsense and is a waste of time and all it's serving to do is make your, your occult overlord masters who look at you as their fucking property uh, piss in their pants while they're having a party, uh, dancing on your grave and putting you in, in shackles and chains, okay? That, that's, that's all that's happening as a result of this infighting. It's laughable. If it weren't so sad, I'd be laughing at it too. If it weren't affecting me, I would laugh at these people. Okay? But unfortunately, it affects my freedom. See? That's why it's a very serious issue. If you could put all these bickering children on another fucking planet and, and uh, leave the people who really do understand real, real freedom to their own devices and, and let, let them go and bicker with, with the, the status who are fighting over who to vote for... Uh, no problem. There would be no problem here. But unfortunately, that's not how freedom works. We are unfortunately all bound together as one on this prison planet. And unfortunately, consciousness has to change on a universal scale. Okay? On a global scale, at least. Otherwise, there will be no change in the manifested condition that we receive as a consequential result. Okay? So, unfortunately... Our freedom is tied to other people's mentality, you know, and that's why education, true education is really the only solution.